Well, hello, hello. Welcome to Color with Parkinson's. Um, today I have a review for you regarding um, some water markers that I wanted to share with you that I got from the Spring Gift Exchange in the Coloring Divas group. Um, I want to show you my amazing gifts. And first, let me do a quick um, show here. These are the Santoro Dual Tip Watercolor Pens that I will be uh, swatching today. And it did accompany with this fantasy coloring book that I have been wanting for a while and um, thankfully to the lovely Jamie Schaefer um, she sent it to me and uh, everything is just really really wonderful I did get um, a porcelain uh, watercolor palette to um, mix all the paints um, and I did share that picture in the coloring divas group but today I just really want to get into these markers now, Santoro is a very cute line as it is. Um, as you can see the logo here. Santoro, London, I guess they're based in. Um, these are very small, like travel size uh, markers. Let me put them right here. But they color really, really well. And I wanted to demonstrate a few for you. I also put on some background music. Um, you might be able to hear it. I have it really low though. It's a little relaxing and stuff I like to listen to um, when I'm coloring or trying to just uh, go out for the day. Okay, let's get started. So this one, I don't believe they have any names. This is Santoro and the dual tip. No name or number, but the very small. But I like them because they're perfect. Um, size for me they're not bulky they're easy to use they're very petite and they have two ends I love brush tip and this is the other end the nib okay let me grab um, my Kiyotaki water brush pen here let me just make sure I cleaned it sometimes I forget to clean them off Okay, and um, let's get started. So this looks like it's going to be a brown. Let's see, so we got the first marker and this, let me see how many is in here. This is a 12 pack. So we'll start with this one that looks like, like a coffee brown. I'm just gonna do a thick line and then a small one and see how it dilutes. Okay. And get some water going here. That is a very nice um, dilute here. It starts to wash out right away. So this is going to be really fun on paper. And this is just regular watercolor paper, uh, eight by ten that I got from Five Below uh, quite a while back. They do have very inexpensive watercolor paper, uh, uh, various sizes. Okay. And I will do both ends just to make sure everything works. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to just gently go over it to see how it blends. They're very small but rich in pigment, so... Okay, so I think it's best not to overly press. Uh, if you're going to put water directly on your page, I think uh, it should be a light stroke or in a, a porcelain palette where you can dilute it and make sure that you don't get any marks left over on your page. Okay. Let's try the second color. This looks like a purple. And let me just double check the back. I don't think there's any names or on these colors. No, there's not. Okay. So let's see how this color looks. Let me just brush off the, the brown. 
same time. Let's try this one. This is like a nice rich purple. Let's give that a nice amount of water. So I first start with a, a quite a bit of water just to see how it comes out. And you get a nice uh, rich color depending on how thick it was. It doesn't fully blend out here so I would suggest putting it first in a, a palette where you can dilute it and then onto your page. And we'll do uh, the smaller side. Okay. Let's do a couple of light strokes just to see how that works. Let's see. We'll just pull a small amount of water. I really like these. These are best though, diluted first, like so, in a probably a porcelain palette that I like to use, and then on the page. That is lovely. These are really, really nice markers. Let's see, there's no names on these, so this one looks like a red. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so this is a red. Let's clean off this one. I just put a smaller amount of water to see. It dilutes in place it. And this time it completely washed out. You don't see any streaks like you do in the purple and the brown. Okay. I'm not sure if every color is different or if I didn't put enough or work it right in these first two examples, but let's try another color. Let's keep going. Okay, this may be maybe a pinkish color. Let's see. Yes, that's like a pink. That's like a brighter, almost hot pink, maybe. Okay, let me clean the brush. Let's give it a smaller amount. Okay, so I'm just going to put a smaller amount than I did here. And that seems to work better right over it than how I did it larger here. That's nice. Okay. Let's check out the rest of the colors. Let me see. What is this one? Okay, so we had brown, purple, red, no pink. This is like what? A red violet? Let me just clean our brush again and give it another go. Okay, so I think putting a nice amount of water right over the color rather than spread out how I did before dilutes it better. So it all washes out and there's no streaks like in the previous. So this was like seems like a red violet. Let's let's put the brush tip in the water so I can look. So little by little, when it dilutes like that in the water, it comes back. Okay, it'd be nice if they had some sort of name or number, but I don't see anything. I don't think they do. But so these are just really cute and fun to, to color with. Let's try this color. Because these last few seem relatively the same. So let's put some markings here. And let's see what we get. Let's clean up our brush. Okay. 
Okay, let me just go right over it. I think some colors just work better than others. These ones diluted with a nice clean water, no more no streaks or anything in there. But this one has some leftovers, as you can see. So I guess it just varies by color. Are the colors different, I guess? I'm not sure. Still really fun to work with, though. Okay, let's try this one. This one looks like a regular yellow. We're going to see how it comes out or how light or how dark this one is. Let me clean off my brush. Let's give this one a go up here. This is like a yellow green. So this is a yellow green. Oh, that came out that diluted really nice. So each color is a little bit different. That came out really nice. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Let me clean my brush before I forget. I'm going to mix the colors. Okay. Let's see, this one has a cap like, it's darker than the other one. So this one's a little lighter because of a yellow green. Maybe this one's more like a yellow goldish color. Let's see how that works out. Okay, that's uh, not what I expected. It looks darker. Now let's see how that color comes up when we add water. Okay, I'm not gonna put too much because I wanna see how it comes out. So this is like a lime green yellow. This one seems more like an olive toned yellow. That's lovely. Let's try. Now we're getting into the greens and the blues. This looks like a brighter blue. And let's see how this works out. I did notice that some of these tips are not fully engaged outward. See how one's long and one is really short? I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if that's a flaw. I hadn't noticed it because I didn't go through all the colors. But let's see what happens. Oh, it's a gorgeous color. I double checked on my cleaner brush. It's a very pretty bright blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's nice. I think what we can do in this case, because I don't want to return them or anything, I think with my tweezers for my chameleon markers, I can sort of pull it out a little. That might work. But I will try to contact customer service and uh, get some advice, or maybe they'll send a replacement. I don't know. But um, some of these are short. And I love the brush tips, so I like to resolve that. This next color. Looks the same as the previous. This is probably darker. Slightly different in tone or shade. Let's see how this one comes out. Let me clean the brush again. Okay, make sure we wash it off. Am I ready low on water here? Yeah, I got more brushes. <laughs> okay. Let's try this next one down here. Yeah, this one's darker. Okay. And then tip on this brush tip is, it seems fully engaged outward, so that's good. Let's put some water. The 
that's a nice darker shade look at that these are really beautiful really really nice okay let's try the other one this is a lighter blue this must be maybe a sky blue let's see how this one lays down I can't really tell until I put the water on it. This one's a little puzzling. So let me get... I'm out of water. Let me try the next one. I have more here. Apparently, I didn't fill them all up. <laughs> okay. I'll grab my next Karataki brush pen here, and it's good to go. So this is more like, this is a brighter blue. This is more a subdued blue-green, maybe? Really gorgeous pens. Really having fun with these. Oh, that was the wrong cap. <laughs> now let's try the last one. The last one is a darker, and this kind of looks to me like a periwinkle blue gray and again you get the tips kind of pushed in let's see what we can do here yeah that looks like a periwinkle let me get this clean all right Not bad, that is a beautiful color. I think these are a lot of fun. So it looks like, let's see how many of the brush tips look short. Let's see, let me turn them so they're all brush tip up. Okay. I don't think it was most of them just looks like one or two were a little short on the tips. Most of them were long. This is a, was a very fun set. I'm still coloring with this. Let's see how my page turns out in this um, coloring book. And again, this is a Centauro line. Super cute. Love this. Thank you so much, Jamie Schaefer. I'm gonna put this to the side so that I can show you guys uh, the color book. Okay, let's get this out of the way. And if you're noticing, let me just pen out a little bit. This is a desk mat that I got from my dear friend and um, he's an artist. A guitarist for Madonna. He did uh, also play for Adam Lambert. Um, and that's how I first met him, was um, going to the concerts, and then we became good friends. Um, and I bought this desk mat because this album of his, which is an album called Pain, Love, and Destiny, is very special to me. Um, there's a personal greeting thanking me for my support. And so I, when I saw this available, I grabbed it right away. So again, this is Monty Pittman's Pain, Love, and Destiny uh, desk mat. And he is on Spotify. This is a really, really fun, gorgeous book. Fantasy coloring book. And I think the artist or illustrator is, is that a T, Tomoko Yashiro? So I'm just going to do a quick show because I'm sure there's a full flip through somewhere in YouTube land. <laughs> but see, this is a really beautiful book. I love this spread. I love Wizard of Oz. I love Disney. So this will be fun. I did start to dabble a little bit in this coloring book. 
course, I'm not done. This is very, very raw. And I think I did a little bit in the back. This is just a very, very quick test. Um, from the watercolor, this is a different marker. But the watercolor, you see, lay down really nice. This, well, if I wasn't shaking, it would come out better, but they lay down really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna continue with this page and um, improve it because I made some markings I didn't like. And then, so I'm gonna fix those up. And I think this is gonna be a lot of fun when I'm done. This will be if I'm putting it up somewhere and displaying it. I'm gonna have fun coloring also. I love this book, I have been wanting it. And I'm so glad Jamie Schaefer gave this to me from my wish list. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Again, if you're interested in uh, hearing his music, Monty Pittman, he is on Spotify. Um, and this is the Pain, Love, and Destiny album. He does have several others. And again, uh, thank you for tuning in. And if you're new, thank you for tuning in. Please consider subscribing, and there will be future videos.